it's your boy d rich back in the building once again and as you can see i'm back in my special top secret location lebron paul george yeezy boost in the back of me but i hope everybody's having a great day today before i get started i want you guys to make sure you guys follow me at d rich tv on instagram at d rich tv on snapchat at d rich tv on twitter copy of merch no pressure i'm always rocking it man listen it's, it's, it's no pressure in life man just go out there and do what you can do okay today i'm here to talk about a very important topic because it's buzzing all around the country probably all around the world zion williamson is the biggest name in college basketball right now i think that maybe one of the biggest names of all time in college basketball and he was definitely one of the biggest names in high school basketball and he's living up to the buzz so far in college at duke and i'm not even really a duke fan i never really was but this year for some reason i catch myself watching duke games and really it's due to the fact that i've met some of these players when i visited duke this past summer, I think it was July. Yeah, it was July when I went up on campus and got to talk and interact with a couple of the guys. And I just want to tell you the stone cold truth about my interaction with Zion Williamson. Now, me just being around basketball these past couple of years, whenever a player has a lot of buzz around them and their name is popping, a lot of players get very, very cocky, okay? And it's hard to talk to them because they give you short answers. They don't really interact. And you can tell a lot about a person when you meet them when it's not really a big event going on. Like I can go to a, 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 a AAU tournament and talk to someone and sometimes it, they can be acting a little bit fake. You know what I'm saying? But you can always tell the true character of someone when it's not a lot of people around. You know what I mean? So when I met him, it wasn't that many people around besides the blue ship team and a few other coaches. Really, it was really an off day for him. You know, I'm pretty sure he worked out, but he was just chilling, relaxing. He probably didn't even know that we were going to be there. Okay, so as you can see in this clip right here, as we walk in, it's so ironic that he's right there. He must have been walking to the locker room or going somewhere, and he saw us. He saw us. He shook everybody's hand with a smile on his face. It was genuine. I can tell. Trust me. I've met some people who are super cocky, man. You know, I'm one of them people I can get a feeling about a person from my first time meeting them. And I can tell if they're being genuine and sincere. Now look at him, man. He, he takes out the headphones. Pause this. That means a lot. Okay? He took out his headphones. He didn't have to take out his headphones just to listen to what, we're, what we were going to say to him. Or, or to even talk to us. He could have shook our hands and went on about his business, but he didn't. He stopped and he talked to us. Okay, so as we continue, you know what I'm saying? Look at that smile, man. Look at that's a genuine smile, man. Just you know. Okay, okay. Let me fast forward just a little bit right here, because I want you guys to, you know. It's a lot of kids out there. I mean, listen, what I want you guys to do is to listen to what he says right here, because this is true to any so kid who who's out there playing what, basketball, what the most important thing you know, or, or, or wants to have sport, some type of career as as, in any uh, sport, preparing themselves to get to this level. Um, it's a lot of kids out there. I mean, believe it or not, it's hundreds, thousands, millions of kids like Everybody want to get a scholarship offer. So when you're in the gym, that one set you might want to take off, it's probably a kid somewhere else that's probably mm -hmm. not taking that set off. And, you know, you always hear about them late bloomers, your junior, senior year. They might take that scholarship from you that you want. When did you start getting noticed? I started getting noticed like my sophomore summer. Now, notice what he said. He said that he started to get noticed his sophomore summer. So I think that plays a major factor 
and to why he's so humble because not getting noticed until your sophomore summer that's shaky that's shaky because a lot of people never get noticed and heading into your let me see sophomore summer i don't know if he was talking about going into his junior year or to a sophomore year either way in basketball if you don't sometimes have a buzz going in to high school it's kind of hard to create a, a, a crazy stupid buzz you know what i mean like and i think that plays a factor into why he's so humble because he was found sort of late it's a lot of players right now who have a crazy buzz in middle school and they rock around so cocky i mean just so cocky crazy man they got a lot of followers on, on Instagram and they unfollow on certain people. A few people that unfollow me and I'm like, damn, you get a buzz, you unfollow me. Jeez, I mean, what's, that's a, what's that about? But I'm not going to take it personal because I know you're feeling yourself right now. So he is super humble, man, and he really gave some critical advice. Now, let me move on right here. Zion, people just look at him as a dunker. He can do more than dunk. And I'm probably pretty sure he didn't feel like dunking on this certain day. But guess what? The kids wanted to see him dunk. So guess what he did? He went out there and he dunked. Watch this clip. Look how high he was. Now, even though he missed that, look how high he was. And for him to take his time out and actually do that, when he didn't have to, man, that goes beyond measure. Honestly, man, because I'm telling you, I meet a lot of people and they're very cocky. This man right here might be one of the most humble people that I've met, okay? Now let's move on to another clip. I want you guys to watch this out. All right, tell them to stop. <laughs> Y'all kids, I didn't talk. Don't, don't come asking to play one on one. I'm not going to win. Like, they in seventh grade. Like, they're not about to beat me on one. Three. Come on. Come on. Stop. <laughs> I mean three. Oh, I just want uh, three. Oh, stop. Like, I'm not about to, I'm not about to do to him like this. Yeah, don't go on it, bro. You got to go to sleep. Don't go. Everybody, everybody, everybody out like that towards y'all, I'm sure. Yeah, they do. All right, let me ask something. Y'all, every game y'all play, the people chant overrated. The people oh, like, do people, do people give y'all their best game, right? Yeah, yeah. Because that's right. Like, yeah, they try to, but yeah. that's because of who y'all are. Yeah, I'm, I get the same thing, so don't. Don't come at it like that. This is different for me. This man right here is saying. Listen to what he said. He gets the same thing. Okay. Every game he plays or played in high school was packed. Cameraman, all the cameras, somebody trying to test him. Some people give him a lot of flack for not going to like a big prep school or something like that. He stayed in his hometown. And we'll get to that a little bit later. He stayed in his hometown. Okay, and he won, what, three state championships or four, whatever it was, in his hometown. And I'm pretty sure it was people coming out of his neck whenever he did play a big-time game. Especially in AAU basketball when he played LaMelo and, you know, throughout the summer, he's, he's going up against these different opponents and people want to make a name off him. So in a joking manner, but I think he was kind of being serious too, he told them, like, man, listen, I get the same thing you guys get, Okay. And some of the kids wanted to play on one-on-one. -on -one. They know they can't beat on one-on-one. -on -one. It, was, it was all, you know, joking around. But he told them, man, I get the same thing y'all get. Don't come at me like this is new to me because I done been had a target on my back for the past couple of years. And I'm going to live up to the hype. I'm going to keep doing it. Now, one thing I want you guys to look at is look at this picture right here. Look at this picture. Look how chiseled out this dude is. He was standing over there looking like Superman, and I had to capture this moment with my camera because he was standing over there looking all chiseled up like a football player. It's, I'm looking like Superman. Look at that look, man. Look at the physical specimen that this kid is, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't wait to see what he does in the NBA. I can't wait. But either way, he's a great kid, man. I'm telling y'all, some of you kids out there need to humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. Come with your life. What? <laughs> what's your shoe game? What's your shoe game looking like in there? You got some, you got some heat in there, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nolan, come here, come here. I need Nolan over here for this one. Come, come on, Nolan. What's up? Man? He said, "What well, my shoe game looking right?" So right now I got some decent Kyrie's, but you yeah, know, like yeah, Nolan, my them. shoe game looking a little. What is yeah, this, bro? That's not, look, look, look. Nolan, let's not show what? this. Let's not show Nolan, this. Nolan, what, what's going on? <laughs> the special orders on the they way. They gave me right? some. <laughs> Yo, they gave me these from like. 
two, three years ago? I mean, I mess with show him. Show y'all the full. What's going on? Thing. Thing. If you want to watch the full thing, part of him showing his sneaker closet, you can check out the vlog of when I visited Duke. But just for him to go in the locker room and actually show us his sneaker collection, it was dope. And he was being very genuine, man. So I just wanted to talk about this because I don't know what the perception is of him out there as a person, but coming from D-Rich, this is one of the most humblest players I've met. And trust me, I've met a couple, man. And he's one of the most humble. He took his time out, gave great advice to the kids, was really interacting with him, man. Like the first year I went to Duke, the first time I've been to Duke two times, it was different. It was different. Even RJ Barrett, uh, I believe his name is Trey Jones, Cam Reddish. Was Cam Reddish there? Cam Reddish was there. He showed up. And all those guys just seemed genuine, man. Not just Zion. All the whole team seemed genuine. Okay? So I want to let you guys know. A lot of you kids out there need to humble yourselves because you really have nothing not to be humble. Like, like, the press that you're getting right now and the buzz that you have, it can leave. So humble yourselves. Okay? I just wanted to make this video, you know, just to talk about my interaction with Zion Williamson. I hope he continues to do great things on and off the court. Um, I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Whenever you're watching this video, follow me at DRish TV, Instagram, Twitter, um, especially Instagram. I'm trying to get to 100,000. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And I'm going to keep doing things like this, man. So drop a comment. If you're feeling this, hit the like button because I know you're loving it. This is DRish TV, man. No, it's no pressure. Live your life, man. I'm out here.